Hey guys, so welcome back to another live game. Commentary day four of our seven day twitch.tv slash foxtrot build up. If you haven't heard the news, guys, we are coming back to Twitch TV. Twitch TV slash foxtrot. We're gonna <laughs> we'll be um, starting on the 17th of February. Okay, 17th. 6 p.m. GMT and seven days every day. <laughs> for, for, I can't fucking speak. Excuse my French. Every day for a week, we're going to be uploading in commemoration of this amazing event. Because, yeah, we've been on Facebook for a long ass time, man. We've been streaming over there, but we're coming back. And I'm looking forward to it. So, we are two and three in our placements right now on this account, guys. Last video, we played a mega smork <coughs> strategy. We picked Pantheon, and it was, uh, yeah, it was. It was alright, I mean, we got a lot of kills, but it didn't really work out for us. So this game, we're going for a full-on, hard farming, you know, all that lovely business. We're going the complete opposite here. So, one of the best farm jungles I can think of is Diana. Nocturne's also pretty good, so I was, I was thinking about... I mean, there's a there's a few good farm junglers, but... Oof, that's, that's tragic, actually. This top lane, that is tragic. Because, like, he has, he has Ignite. Like, Renekton should not lose lane early, especially if you've taken Ignite. Like, that's just a crime. Throw this man in jail. In the stockades, bro. Something you may have noticed this game as well, guys, is I've got fleet footwork. <laughs> Talking about my runes here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a complete misclick. This is meant to be Conqueror, so... Yeah, this is not some kind of new... OP build or anything like that. It is a pure misclick. I really do not mean to have fleet footwork. I really, really don't. So, my bad. Uh, yeah, we got Triumph, we've got Attack Speed here, Kudaguara. More damage against Squishies. I have Sudden Impact and uh, Relentless, uh, Ravenous Hunter, so we get a bit of he bit more healing and stuff. I think the healing is really nice, especially nice in Parrot Conqueror. I don't know how it'll be again with Fleet Footwork, but whatever. This will, this will make our clears a bit better, though, with, with Fleet, or a bit healthier, I should say. Look at the healing that I'm getting from this. Let's go Fleet. <laughs> and for our, for our runes, we have Attack Speed, AD, and Armor. Alright, where do I want to go here? I can try and get top before I really can get some wards down. If she walks up for a minion here, maybe. But she should be smart. Like she should she should be smart about this. And not go for these. Yeah, okay. So then we just recall. Worth. Worth. Worth, worth, worth. Alright, jungle item. Blue, red, kind of up to you on Diana, actually. You can do either one. Not a huge, huge difference between the two. Nice. Good shit. I, I prefer blue when I'm playing like a burst style, like I do with Diana, but... Oh my good lord. This guy is... <laughs> this Renekton, mate, is not having a good time. I don't know if he's auto-filled or something, but... If you are auto-filled in a lane, it's not really... A good idea to play a lane bully, and it's also not a good idea to have a play style that requires you to get ahead early. So, for example, Ignite and things like Renekton. Like, you, it's much better to pick a safe champion that you can just scale on, because you know you're not going to do particularly well in lane. Like, if you're auto field, you're, you're going to be at a disadvantage there, right? In that lane, just straight up, like you just are. So it's better to play towards your strengths. Or more like just don't play towards your weaknesses, I guess. Yeah, I like how my Krugs were actually dead. And they're just about to respawn. That would be Kha'Zix is doing, I suppose. That's fine by me. Level 1 Krugs are pretty shitty. Well, <laughs> any Krug is pretty shitty, to be honest. But, hey, it's fine. Alright, I'm going to walk mid before I recall. Maybe uh, Ari might give me something to do here. don't think she has Flash, so it's possible. Just walk up to her and try something here. Oh my god, I didn't get to click my Q first. Shit. That was a big old miss. Well, it wasn't a misclick, I just... Couldn't Q. I accidentally... So I was spamming my my jump there. God, I got a really itchy nose. Blah, blah, blah. I was spamming my jump. My gap closer. And I think I like queued it up, you know. Before it was ready. So I was kind of spamming QE and then I just, yeah, messed it up. 
Do, do, do. Okay. I mean, I honestly want to take this first because crabs are actually worth quite a lot. And the great thing about crab is if you get it, the enemy jungler doesn't. So it's not even, it's not just one camp. Yo, Janna is right here, by the way. It's not just one camp, it's almost like worth two, you know? Nice. Okay. Almost like the ironic part about jungling is that the more that you farm, the more you fall behind. Because you don't get a lot of gold from just farming the jungle. Like, you really don't. You really want to farm lanes. Well, not like farm lanes. But... <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> that's, that's fine by me. Like, look how much gold I'm getting here. Look how much XP I'm getting. So I just hit level 5 by killing the crab. And now I'm level 6. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I don't know how. Is that a dive? Yeah, okay. She failed to dive. All right, good stuff. Whew. Good job, team. All right, beautiful. I'm now level six. I can form my runic echo. I'm just should recall. I mean, I've got my jungle up. I should recall. My, my nose needs to stop itching. It really does. I'm not happy. That's in the hog, mate. You don't want that. That's the one. I'm really not happy. I don't know what it is. Am I getting old? I've got like some nose hairs and shit. Is it tickling me? It feels like I'm itchy on the on the outside of my nose and the bridge of my nose. Guys, can you diagnose me? What's wrong with me? I would ask WebMD, but I know what they tell me. They tell me they tell me I have a week left to live. And I'd rather stay ignorant, you know. I'd rather die peacefully in a week, not knowing it was coming than Actually, is that true? Because I feel like if I knew I had a week left to live, I'd probably live my life a bit differently, you know? Although they always say, live every day like it's your last. Like, yeah, okay. Literally no one does that, by the way. Like, because do, doing, doing such a thing is quite irresponsible. You don't want to live every day like it's your last. Like, if you if you want to live, live your day like it's your last, then you're going to do some crazy shit. Some crazy shit that you probably... Mate, I'm so sad. I don't my E up. That you probably don't want to do consistently. Do you know what I mean? I'm actually dead, by the way. I guess a thumbs up for me. Like, you probably want to do things like, I don't know, just go on a random, just YOLO it, just go on a random, quit your job. You know, just quit your job, just go ham, that kind of shit. And you shouldn't do that every day. You know, you should you should be a bit more chill. Okay, I ready, mate. Pretty disgusting champion. If I had Conqueror, would I have, would I have killed her there? Quite possibly, honestly. Conqueror is pretty busted on Diana. What is this, Philios, mate? What is your problemo, my dude? Like you picked a pretty busted champion. Way too busted for you to be this bad. No offense. Yeah, man, I'm missing this Conqueror, dude. I'm missing it. You stack it up so quickly because of your abilities. Like, you really do. It's so good on Diana, and I'm really missing not having it right here. Like, I really am. Why does my ult have such a low cooldown, though? 80 second cooldown, rank 1, with, like, barely any CDR. That's kind of mad, actually. What is that? Is that low? That feels quite low. I think that's quite low. Actually, yeah, at least this is, like... Maybe it's... Yeah, I don't know, actually. It feels pretty low, considering what it is. Like, as, especially as as you get some items and stuff, like, this becomes a really disgusting ulti. Alright, we go back down bot. Got my ultimate up again. <sighs> Mate, I'm... Ugh! I'm sad I got fleet footwork, because I can't really, like, invade Kha'Zix with fleet footwork. I could probably invade him with Conqueror, because I can beat him 1v1. So you, you may have seen what I did right there to get a, like a double gap closer. 
is I Q the minion wave, E to the minion that's got the Q on it, and then, uh, and then my E resets, and bam, I've got another, I've got another jump. So it's a pretty good strategy for closing the gap like that. I, yeah, I did it there. Obviously, I wasn't able to actually do anything with it. I think I did it against Lucian before as well when I killed him previously. Big downside is like if you don't have a minion way to jump to, then you can't do it. Yeah, we're pretty. We got this. We got this shit. Pretty fast, actually. Single. I thought I'd be a little bit slow on this, but what is that? Legit. That invisibility cucks me so hard. Okay. I think I'm blind though, because I wasn't. <laughs> Pop goes the Jenna. I feel you, bruh. <laughs> is he trolling? <laughs> is he actually trolling us? <laughs> is he mad or have I, have I missed something here? Wait, do I have free boots? No, I don't have free boots. Okay. If I had free boots, I wouldn't mind sitting on tier 1 boots because you actually get a pretty good amount of uh, move speed from that. But because they're just boots of speed, I, mean, nah, I may as well upgrade them. I think move speed is quite an important stat on this champion. Alright, let's keep going, guys. Can I maybe push out this mid? I mean, Zed's alive. I, I should hold this, because if not, we're probably going to lose this mid tower, right? The more I poke Ari, the lower chance we have of losing this tower as well, so... Listen, you can take... Alright, I'll give you the cannon minion. I'm still a nice guy, alright? You're welcome. You're welcome. Nautilus, I don't like the path you've taken here, honestly. You are so far away from this play, it's not even funny. Taking the scenic route on that play. Taking the scenic route, but that's cool, I suppose. We still got it. Two for two isn't ideal, but hey, shit happens, I guess. I had to show pretty early there because this was warded, right? So they knew, I know I'm there. Best chance of getting that play is like, you know, if I walk behind them, maybe they wait. I'm just, I'm just trying to buy time, basically, right? Nice. This could be a big jungle difference game though. Gotta be careful. I right, Ari, where you at? Unlucky. Yeah, give me this mid lane again. Zed's re he just recalled, so I get this mid. As far as your itemization goes on Diana, by the way, so... Ah, oh, fuck. I've actually done this wrong. Well, not wrong, but... So, there's... <laughs> Nash's Tooth is great on Diana, it really is. But it really depends on what your role is in a game. If you're team fighting, I don't think Nash's Tooth is as important. Whereas items like Zonia's really are. I also like to get a little bit of tankiness. So I've been experimenting with Proto Belt, and I think Proto Belt is really good. Because Lane Diana gets Rod of Ages, right? So it's kind of like it's kind of like the jungler's version of Rod of Ages. Because it gives you similar-ish stats. But you don't have to like charge it up for it for a while. And it's also really cheap. So yeah, I, for I forgot about pro Proto Belt. So what I actually like to do is I like to go Proto Belt into Zonia's. What I've been experimenting with at least on D Jungle Diana. Because I really think that Nash's Tooth is it is a great item. And it's especially good if you're going to go into a solo lane like 1v1. If you want to like 1v9 the game and hard carry and stuff like that. Then I think it's, it's really cool. But honestly, oftentimes your role as a jungler. You just don't really need to do... Like, I have a lot of attack speed. You see me. When I'm clearing the jungle, I do not need more attack speed, really, do I? Like, my passive gives me a lot. I don't need a lot more. Oh, God.
They might actually need me here if, I, if they're going for this play. Oh, bloody hell, they are going for it. They would not listen. Is she in there? Uh, she's, she's wimped out. Pretty smart, honestly. Yeah, they know we're here as well, right? I flash this. Nautilus taking... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to blame Nautilus for this. But he needs to decide which way he wants to run here. How did she kill me there? Did she queue to me instantly? I mean, we, we take that, like, that's fine, but... Okay, so I pro belt first, or do I Zonyas? I feel like because I've actually gone... I'm, I'm getting Zonyas now, I may as well get Zonyas, you know? I just complete it. I think Zonyas is a good pipe by this game too, like, they have a lot of dive. Kha'Zix will jump on me, Lucian will jump on me, Irelia will jump on me. This probably isn't the most well-advised thing to do, by the way, Aphelios, bud. Like you're not really the best jungler. And Krug Camp is... That's a level 10 Krug Camp. It's a higher level than you are. But you know what, actually? <laughs> you're healing so much. Okay. She, he lost half his health. He's on full health. Does he have... He doesn't even have life still. It's generally just that. Oh, yeah. We love a flash. A cheeky flash E. Or E flash, I guess that was. An ally has been slain. All right. Let's get this bad boy, shall we? Who's alive? Lucian, Kha'Zix, Janna. Okay, I don't think we can get this, but maybe we can, actually. We should go for it, because Zed is huge. And he's got ult. Yeah, we'll go for this. Thirty health smite, why not? I've got... I've still got this, so... Oh, I think next, uh... Maybe next time Zed's out, we'll try and put this mid or something. If you're wondering why I haven't gone top this game, by the way, because obviously Aurelia is, you know, kind of stomping that top lane. It's because it's just like, am I going to win this game? I, I could go top. If I give him Lipton, like, one kill, two kills, does that make me win this game? Probably not, because he's probably still going to keep losing, right? <clears throat> Like, sure, it stabilizes top lane, but it doesn't really advance. It doesn't, it's better to put out, it's, it's better to light more fires, like light fires yourself than put out fires, you know? And I think, and I also think that's a hard fire to put out, you know? Look at this fucking, like, honest, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this. Yeah, she's getting, she's getting run right into an Ecton here. Oh my goodness, he does so much damage. Beautiful. Right, now I have Herald, so if we could just, like, run it down mid here. Don't. Do not vow. What the fuck? Do not vow that Aphelios. Trust me, bro. It's not a good idea. Couldn't, Zonius. Fuck my life. Uh Okay, Zed, you're really strong, and you deleted that Kha'Zix, but that's not really worth it. If we'd played that slow, we probably could have got Tower there. Like, just the threat of, of Zed's abilities and all that shit probably would have given us... They probably would have played it a lot. Quite passive. Okay, I'm not really farming anymore, am I? I told you I was going to, like, farm this game. I'm not farming. Why? Well, this happens a lot, actually. This happens a lot when I'm recording or when I'm streaming. I lose focus of what I'm trying to do, and I just run around. <laughs> I just run around. Like, it's not good, honestly. It, it it turns me into a bit of a coin flip player. Like, yeah, okay. So you look at Kha'Zix, 2, 7, and 5. He's not really had much impact. He's died a lot. He's not really stomping this game. But this is what I mean by coin flipping games, you know. Have I really done a huge amount? Like, I'm not really, I'm not particularly well farmed. I'm not that ahead. Do you know what I mean? Like... What have I really done, contributed this game to the, to the success of our team? Not much, really. So I just got to, I've just got to keep that in mind, you know. I've got to keep, keep in mind that I'm, that what, what I'm trying to do, you know, how I'm trying to play this game, and all that shit. We're gonna go mid here because they're putting a lot of pressure onto that bot. Ooh, that's not good. 
So we just get a little bit of farm there. Didn't think Lucian would be able to kill Zed there either, but that's cool. He does didn't have his ult, right? So. Okay. Do I die here? No. Okay. Where's Janna? Janna's mid. He's kind of squishy, but again, I don't have Conqueror, so I really, really don't know how good I am 1v1. Where did he go? Aftershock. I mean, I don't know. This is, okay, actually, I read his bot. Yeah, it's fine. Is he actually trolling? Why am I? We're doing Baron, and two of my teammates are taking jungle camps. And why is there tanking this? And why is not just not tanking this? Okay, you know what? This was 3000 IQ because the fact that my. Yo, well played your next video. The fact that you guys were. Wait. That was The fact that those guys showed mid made the enemy team think we weren't on Baron. There it is. 5000 IQ. Straight up. I would have loved to have reset here, but I thought they might be rushing this. I can't zone use again. I got stunned. That's a shit fucking flash. Not gonna lie. Why did we go for? We need to wait for. for we need to wait for Zed. I shouldn't have flashed there either. Like I was done though. Do I still go for Proto Belt this game? I don't think I do. I'm just going to go for Leandries instead. Leandries is a pretty similar item. Actually, is it better for me to get Murnos, actually? I think, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Murnos is better this game. Okay, cool. All right, so normally, I don't think Murnos is core on Diana in any way. Um, but what I do like about Murnos is obviously the anti-healing. And when you look at this team... There's Conqueror Relia with Ravenous Hunter, uh, Ravenous Hydra, sorry, and looks like a Sanguine Blade coming up next. Lucian's got life still, plus he's Lucian. Janna is Janna. Like, there's a decent amount of of healing on that team, and because Diana isn't like the burst champion that she used to, well, she kind of is, but she's not fully the burst champion she used to be. Oh, nice. I think it's actually more about sustained damage, which is partially why Nash's Tooth is also a great item on her. I do think that having uh, Morello's is a bit better on Diana now. Honestly, I'm just mega sad that I don't have... Shit. Okay, that's my bad. I thought... I thought Zed was sitting here looking... I think he was looking at Auri, wasn't he? Okay. Alright, Foxy mate, focus a little bit, okay? Focus a tad. That's a pretty bad death. If you looked at Zed, you would have realized he had eyes on Ari. <clears throat> There's a lot of damage, actually. Why am I so bad at League of Legends today? Honestly. I'm actually pretty, pretty terrible today. I'm really sorry. In the past, what? Past two videos it's been pretty bad, and there's two games I couldn't even record because they were all so bad. Guys, I I want to apologize because it's not cool. No it's not cool. Everybody is out. Everybody and Lucian are two big problems this game. 
but part of the reason why Lucian's hard to deal with is because Jana is also like good at, is Jana is good at protecting. So I actually think focusing Jana is not a bad idea at all. If I can focus Jana, then that's going to be pretty good. It's an underrated part about t dealing with carries is dealing with their supports first. Nah, don't bother, mate. Ari's top, actually. We can go mid. Or somewhere. Whoa. Alright, Jenna. Okay, they're ganking. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. You just have to take one look at bot, and you know why we shouldn't make this play. Because Zed is our carry, and he went bot. Is she full health? She's literally full health. Wait for him. Don't engage without him. Yeah, I know Philios is, is crap, but you know, it's winnable. <laughs> that was our mistake. You know, like Renex engages here while Zed's bot, that's bad. Then Nautilus walks up here and gets caught. Of course I eat the charm. I die, so you know. So why are we doing those moves, man? Like, our team is Zed. That's all it is. It's just Zed. Just wait for him. Oh my god. Okay. Please. Jesus Christ. Wait, my du was my W up there? I can't do... Please don't flash on me. Well, that's equally annoying, actually, not gonna lie. Alright, I got a big shot down there, though, so I'm happy. Actually, able to do something, which is nice. Uh, see, that, the fact that we were able to do that without Zed just makes me just think, like, how are we just. How is this game so shit? <laughs> We have the potential. Maybe we just... I don't know. Yeah, he's dead though. Remember the Prohemium. Nah. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Fleet Footwork, mate. You healed me a lot. You really have. But you make me sad. You really do make me sad. I should be... This should be so much... So much better for me, man. What could have been? What could have been? Really? Where's Lucian going? He's probably rotating here, right? Oh wait, my team's giving up mid. Okay. When we were moving up here, I was like, okay, cool. But now we're not moving up here, I'm like, oof, I'm nervous. Mm, everybody's bot, Kha'Zix is dead. I think they're on it actually. Yeah, they are. Nice. Holy shit. <laughs> nice champ. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nautilus. Alright, good shit, guys. Good shit. I think we just get Banshee to honestly I want to get I want to get Nash's tooth right now but I'm just really struggling to find my windows but this RE is just a real dick is it better to do okay so I've got like there are a few options here either Nash's tooth I do Banshees 
I do Leandries or do Death Cap. I'm gonna go Banshees. It's pretty good actually. Is it? Nah, fuck it. It's not. I'm gonna see that at twenty percent. Fuck it. We do Nashes. I want to see. I just feel a bit grim not buying Nash's tooth on this champion. You know. If I can, if I can position better, not be the first one to go in, then I don't have to worry about, you know, buying this Nash's tooth. Like, I really don't. I'm never going to be out of side lane against Aurelia, so that is one argument against the tooth. Because it's like, what's the point? You know, like. It, Nash's Tooth is about sustained damage, and just sustained damage is mostly manifested in like clearing waves and side laning, like 1v1s. Oh, you fucked that up, Lucian, buddy. You fucked that up big time. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. A Janna Tornado from here knocks me up mid-E. I have a four-man ulti. I'm actually tilted. I'm actually tilted. Holy shit. You knew that that was a max range max range Janna Q. Because it knocked me up for so long. Like that was I'm actually tilted. I'm genuinely tilted. I actually can't believe it. That is really lame. Hmm, actually do we lose here? Hmm, is that just up in two seconds? Okay. Wait, Zed's going... Okay. Honestly, I'm so tilted, because that's... Look at that lost us. Look at that lost us. <laughs> I am... It's fine. I do, I think we could have turned that as well, like, I, I really actually think we could have. I'm just, I'm just mad. What can I say? I'm just pissed off. Maybe I, should I go for, for a dragon here? I'm gonna go for a dragon. Kha'Zix is around, but... Why? And get what? I don't see. This is such a bad call. Why am I not on Dragon right now? Wait, can we end? Wait, if 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 Kha'Zix is on Dragon, maybe we end here. Alright, ready is up. Run, 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 run. Run! Okay, if I can get an exit Dragon, that would be nice, but... We might have to give that up as well, because Zed just died. But honestly, we should probably just run, like... We don't have the lip... Yo, if we, if we mess something up here, we lose the entire game. Okay? Oh my sweet Jesus, I don't like this. But fuck it. You know what? Yo, team, if you decide you want to do this shit, I'm with you. We're a team. We're a team! All right, team, you know what's up. You know what's up. You know what's up. <laughs> that's, that's, it. that's how you get the ace, mate. Well, it's not an ace, sorry. What the hell? You did that really fast. Jesus, it's pretty that fast than I could. Oh, good lord. All right, Kazix and Janna's alive. They're not really too threatening, actually. I'm leaning forward now. You can probably tell, lads. I'm leaning forward because this is it. This is it. Jesus, that slow is really irritating. I'm getting cucked by minions so hard here. I generally, I can't move. Look at look at me running around like a dickhead there. I cannot get close to these uh, nexus. I did not deserve to win that game. Well, I mean, one of that either me or Kazix had to win that game. I don't think either of us deserved to. I'll be honest. <laughs> but holy crap.
That was just a lame game. That was such a bad game. Just terrible. <laughs> I could not watch again. Honestly, boys and girls, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry you guys have to watch that. I'm sorry you guys have to experience the slump that I'm in. Because... Jesus. Yeah, that's not pretty. Guys, thank you so much for watching our gameplay today. Do not forget, we are streaming twitch.tv slash foxdrop. 17th of February, 6pm GMT. Guys, if you like the video, give me a cheeky thumbs up. You can subscribe to me and flick my bell for those notifications. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a marvellous day. See you on the stream, but also in our next... <laughs> video.